All right, guys, we're in Gresham Park in Atlanta. This is the property that I just finished up. I just staged it. We got bad lighting right now. We had a bunch of storms come in, so a lot of my landscaping is messed up. So I got to get my landscaper back over here. We're in a very humid state and we're in a very moist state. I guess that is humidity. But anyways, a lot of rain has just come in and people were sliding all over the yard and the driveway is uphill. So that did not help me. So don't judge a brother, but let's go. Let's come check this place out. Have you ever walked up a driveway like this? It's just crazy on the knees. All right, so this property right here we added a little bit of an extra concrete pad. I don't even know if I said that right, but we added a concrete pad because there was just no driveway. Um, this property in specific, this was the only spot to park your car, which it was a two bedroom, one bath, and I wanted to convert it to a two, uh, three bedroom, two bath. So I had to take the carport and maximize space and add a little bit of heated uh, square footage for the living area um we needed a true master and we didn't have that here so we cut the yard up a little bit added a little bit more concrete and now you have a parking pad so let's go check this place out all right guys as you just previously saw i slip and fell trying to walk in this door coming up these steps so that hurt but let's talk about this property gresham park listing it is staged kind of like you've seen in some previous videos we have open up the wall and put an LVL beam in and we modified this is what's a what's called a full detail flip we completely modified this house and open it up so you have an open concept floor plan you know the living room uh, to dining room to kitchen looks like I got a bulb out that's nice to know or no bulb at all I have to check that out. I have to fix that but this property in general um, man we just went just all all across like crazy we've added the island in we relocated the kitchen i want to say the kitchen was in this area back here behind us so we relocated it out here uh, in the back of the house to make it look more modern so this is called a full detail flip a full detail flip is the hard flips this was a seventy five thousand uh, dollar remodel we opened up walls we had to clean up mold we put the new roof on we converted a, um, a carport to a, a, a master bedroom and bathroom and we just went we just went all over the place just hog crazy just hog wild and did as much as we could at the property to make it functional for today's time because before it was functionally obsolete a two bedroom one bath needed to be converted to a three two so we had to modify it so if you can imagine this this right here was the carport you come off the carport into the kitchen right here uh, the dining room was right here and the smaller living room because it was boxy because you'll see the split this was where um, the living room had originally been it was a small living room so it was just choppy uh, that was choppy but let's show you what the old carport looked like and we're going to show you before uh, before pictures on this property so you can see what it looked like, but now you'll see the after. Come on in, this is, this is really cool. So this property here was a carport. This is a way to maximize value. Like if you have a two bedroom, one bath house that, oh yeah, we added some reading lamps in, which we just thought that was a nice touch. Um, if you have a two bedroom, one bath and you want to add, uh, you know, more heated square footage, which will add value if it's above grade, meaning it's above the ground, uh, uh, you know, on the ground or above. If it's below and you do it in a basement, it's questionable whether it's gonna add value. But if you do it above grade, you can take a space like a structure like this carport that was already here and then close it and add um, you know, heat and AC to it and turn it into a bedroom like we did. Now you're maximizing space and adding true value to the home. So this, is, this, this whole shebang was you know, it, it was the uh, the carport. So we framed everything out, added the ceilings. We did all this, uh, put, put the barnwood door in, did a lot of plumbing underneath the house. The closet is back here. It's a tight spot. I don't know if we can get in, but um, actually just try to come in. 
this this whole this whole property was this is where you'd put your car. I mean, it's just to me, it's mind blowing. So now you have a bed, uh, you have a closet. We didn't want to put it on the other side was because that room, that master bedroom was already kind of small. So we, we put the closet in here intentionally in the bathroom. I normally wouldn't do that, but it was a smaller space. So you got to be thoughtful when you're remodeling a home. So this property specifically, we, we just went super high end and we try to make it the nicest we can. Adding the nice touches with the, the glass, the tempered glass doors, the double vanity. So it will actually be somebody's home, uh, not just a house. We want it to feel like the home that they are dreaming of that they could stay in for the next several years. And, and you know, they, they're just going to love being here. And that's what we try to do when we, when we create a home, we were trying to not think of ourselves, what we would want to, uh, I mean, uh, we try to think of ourselves, what we want, and we try to put it into a property. Now, a lot of real estate people will have a difference in opinion. Like, well, why would I go and put all this money into a home and make something the way I want it to uh, look if I'm not going to get that value back? Well, you can get the value back if you do it intentionally and you do it smart like we did, Co uh, converting you know, dead space to living space opening up walls, putting the nice touches in a, a growing area like East Atlanta or DeKalb County. Um, this is what we did. It was, it was phenomenal. So, you know, the floors, we added the floors in here, but these were again, original hardwood floors that had carpet on them. Um, we re-sanded we re them and stained them and just, you know, added new windows to the house, opened it up and it's the perfect setup. So tell me what you guys think about the house. I'm not going to tell you anymore, but uh, you know, do the rest of it because it starts to become redundant. I don't want to uh, have the same stuff going on in the same videos or new videos over and over. But tell me what you think about the house. Tell me what you think about the condo, or I mean the condo conversion, the carport conversion. Um, let me know what you think about converting dead space to living space, opening up the walls with LVLs and putting in a nice header and all that stuff. Um, moving, moving a kitchen from one space to the next. If you're not thinking about this stuff when you're flipping houses and you're doing a full detail flip, you need to start thinking about this. This is going to create increasingly uh, appreciating value for you. Uh, we're not, well, I get, maybe not appreciating because you got to hold that long term, but it's going to um, create some increased forced value, forced appreciation um, immediately if you do this kind of stuff. So let me know what you think. Thank you guys.